Dad? We need to talk. Are you ready to make a statement, Miss Rivers? Uh, I... I... Are you okay, Rain? Yes, I'm fine. You don't look fine. Maybe she should sit Has down. Has she had anything to eat? Maybe now is not the best time. She doesn't seem ready to talk about it. That's perfectly fine. She can just pass by my office to give a statement whenever she feels like she's ready. I don't want to press charges. Rain. What? Like I said this morning, I don't... I don't remember anything. That's perfectly normal, Miss Rivers. You were drugged after all. But Miss Carter here had a good look at him. With two witness testimonies, we'll identify him in no time. Nothing happened. I'm fine. Yeah, because Raven and Benji were there to stop it. And they did. So... So I don't see the point of this. You don't see the point of putting a rapist behind bars. <laughs> that That's the thing, though. He, he didn't rape me. But he could have. But he didn't. Rain, what's going on with you? With all due respect, Miss Rivers, but you were lucky enough to survive this man's sexual assault. Other women, women who he most likely will target again, might not be as lucky. You could help prevent I'm sorry, that. but I've made up my mind. Rain. I don't want to press charges. Miss Carter, can I take your statement? So you plan on moving forward with the case? For as long as there is a third witness to the assault, then we can move forward, yes. That is, if Miss Carter is willing to testify. Of course, whatever you need. Excellent. Start from the beginning, please. Where were you when you received the call? I was at home. Was anyone else with you? No, it was just me. And what time did this phone call occur? 20 past 2 a.m., I think. Do you know what time you got there? Five, ten minutes past that phone call tops, so like 2.30. Then what happened? I found them in one of the bedrooms upstairs. By then she was completely unconscious and he had already taken off some of her clothes, like her underwear. I stopped him before he could, before he could do anything to her. I mean, more than he already did. And then when he found out I knew her personally, he got defensive. That's when Benji showed up and knocked him out. So Mr. Fuller only showed up after the assault had taken place. Does that matter? Well, it depends. DA might argue that Mr. Fuller shouldn't be admissible as a third-party witness. And what does that mean? It'll mean it's Mrs. Carter's word against the defendant. Seriously? I mean, the son of a bitch spiked her drink. That alone is a felony, isn't it? A DA might argue that she took the drugs herself, especially at a party like that. Blaming the victim? Yeah. Really? I'm on your side here. I just think it's best that you know what to expect moving forward. So you're saying there's no case here? Of course there is. But between Raven being the only admissible third witness, and the fact that Miss Rivers herself refuses to press charges... He'll be walking out scot-free. I promise. I will do everything within my power to prevent that from happening. You said you sent her away, so what is she doing back here? I never said I sent her away for good. I sent her to get the help that she needed, and she has. She's gone to rehab. You can't rehabilitate rapists. Good thing she isn't one, then. Like hell she isn't. Was she touchy? Sure. And it was highly inappropriate. I know that much, honey. There's no belittling that. She didn't just touch me, Dad. I know you know this. And I know you wouldn't have kept that same energy if she was a boy. Ayana. Don't. You have to understand, she was a lost child struggling to come to terms with her sexuality. I was a child. She was 15 years old. And now she's grown. And she knows better. Let's say I believe you. So she knows better. <laughs> so fucking what? I was raped, Dad. I'm never going to unexperience that. I don't expect you to welcome her back with open arms. But this is her home. And she is my daughter. So am 
way. Not like that. <sighs> Ayana. <sighs> hey. You okay? Why on earth won't she press charges? It's not just her. Survivors of sexual assault hardly come forward. Decades of victim blaming and slush shaming does that to a person. Yeah, I get that. But she was more than willing to catch that son of a bitch an hour ago. What changed? Maybe she was having second thoughts. It didn't look like it from where I was standing. But who knows? It's probably the pressure of it all. I'm sure she just needs some time to build up her nerves again. Raven? What the hell did Bellamy say to you? That's not good. That's not good. Raven! What did she say to you to get you to not press charges? Raven, that's enough. No! She was ready to make a statement until that bitch showed up! No, it's... it's what? He didn't get to rape you, so he's good to go? Someone get her out of there before I kill her. <sighs> Rain? You're a white, cisgender woman from a financially stable home. You have everything. You need to actually bring that monster to justice. Not everyone has that kind of privilege. Tell me you understand that, Rain. Whatever she said to you, Rain, I promise it's not worth the lives of the women he is going to ruin if he doesn't face any consequences. Just leave. Please. God, I'm so fucking disappointed in you. Raven, let's go. What the hell were you thinking? You do not get to talk to her like She's that. She's letting a literal rapist go free. I'm sorry if I, like, hurt her feelings or something, but someone had to say something. I don't care what you think you had to do. It wasn't your place. All right, what's done is done. Fuck that. You're not going anywhere until you apologize. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not asking. Go upstairs and apologize. Now. I don't listen to you, Tresser. Fuck you. <laughs> Dresser, are you fucking kidding me again? She was berating Rain up and there. And you think that makes hitting her okay? I'm pissed about how things were handled too, Tresser. We all are, but that still doesn't give you the right to hit her. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have to listen to this. Let's go, Raven. Seriously, that's all you have to say. Again, that's all any of you have to say. A few scalding words, and you call it a day. Fine. Allow me. <laughs> oh my god. Are you out of your mind? I could tell you the same thing, boss. Eileen, what you Showing doing? Showing our friend Trezor here the consequences of her actions. A concept I'm sure has been lost on her after years of everyone in this room just sitting idle while she gets away with literal abuse. First verbal and emotional and now physical. You're actually insane. Just... Get out of my house! After the bar incident, I thought it was a one-time thing, but it worked in your favor the last time, didn't it? You got away with it, so you figured, what the hell, right? That's not true. It was a slip of the hand then, and it was a slip of the hand yeah, now. Yeah, that's not how I recall you justifying it. If I remember correctly, you said... That she had it coming. Bingo. Doesn't sound like a slip of the hand to me. What about you, boss? You went after Trezor that night. Did you think it was a slip of the hand? didn't think so. In any case, a slip of the hand, a heat of the moment, whatever it is you want to call it, that shit ends here and now. Because the next time you lay your hand on her, I will not hesitate to fuck you the fuck up. You can't be serious. It wouldn't be my first time putting abusers in their place. And I promise you, Trezor, you do not want to know what I'm capable of. Do I make myself clear? Yes. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? 
Oh, and just to be fucking clear here, it was Raven who was there for rain last night while you were out there doing God knows what with her boyfriend. Remember that the next time you lose sight of who's the bad guy here. You didn't have to do that. I'm only sorry I didn't do it the first time. No offense to your sister, but Eileen's my new hero. Dresser. What now, Noah? Ezra's here. What? He's waiting for you in your bedroom. Did I punch your sister? Oh yeah, <laughs> like set her fly. Oh god. I just lost my job, didn't I? Nah. In fact, I'm pretty sure Raven's guilting Simon into giving you a raise as we speak. I definitely ruined things with your family, though. I mean, I'm not sure they ever liked me, but if they did, they don't anymore. No, I still like you. You do? Are you kidding? I might just be falling in love with you. Were you punched in the head or something? Just yesterday you were freaking out about a drawer. Well, yeah, but... Then you... Sucker punched your sister? Stood up for someone who couldn't stand up for themselves. It reminded me of all you've been through with your ex. And, well, you're a fucking badass in more ways than one. I guess I've never really stopped to think of you in that way. Not, not until this morning. Uh, no, am, am I freaking you out? No. Okay, good. So, what are you saying? You... Want this to be more than just fun, casual sex? If you want that too, then... Yeah. And I guess, maybe, on some level, I might just be falling for you too. Okay, I think we're moving a bit too fast Oh, here. shut Let's up. Just, uh... When did you get a cat? What are you doing here, Ezra? You weren't answering my calls. You haven't since our conversation yesterday morning. When you told me you're getting a girlfriend. I remember- That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I talked to my mother and I shut the idea down. You did? Yeah. It's what I should have done in the first place. I guess I didn't really understand just how much it would hurt you. I can be so out of touch sometimes. Most of the time, yeah. I'm sorry. I know I put you through hell and back these past few weeks. And you... You deserve so much more than that. I promise you when this is all over, I'll spend the rest of our lives making up for it. How long can you stay here for? Only an hour or two. Perfect. God, I'm starving. I'm going to talk to Tressor about everything. I'm... I'm sorry I didn't speak up earlier. I think she got the message. On a completely unrelated note, I think Eileen deserves a raise. 
How come you came home early? We finished sooner than expected. Mm-hmm. Mm. How did it go, though? Fine. Sorry, I wasn't there for you last night. Everything worked out in the end, so... It must have been really hard for you, given... I don't want to talk about it, Simon. I really think we should. What for? What's done is done. What's the point of dwelling on it? I had sex with Tresser. Look, I'm sorry about what I said. You know I didn't mean it. Apparently, I don't know shit. Language. <laughs> Spoken like a real father. So what, you're moving out? You've never held a job for longer than a week, and now you want to what, live on your own, pay your own bills? What's the plan here, kid? I'll figure it out as I go. I always do. You're not thinking straight. No, Dad, I don't think I've ever thought more clearly in my life. If you really want to do this, Ayana, you're going to be on your own. I won't endorse this behavior, so don't come to me crying for help. I don't want your help or your money, Dad. In fact, you can count on me never coming to you about anything ever again. We had a lot to drink, and... and I don't know. Most of the night was a blur after that. I just remember her kissing me, and before I could even make sense of the situation, we were already... I don't need the details, Simon. No, uh, I know. I'm sorry. The whole day was just a mess. We just had our fight, and you... We, ha we hadn't really been together that way since, you know... Since December. So you fucked someone else because I wouldn't put out? No, of course not. That's not what I'm saying. I just mean... We just... We were disconnected. I know you felt that too. But I know now that... That you're the one I want to be with. So we've been together for three years and you know now that I'm the one you want to be with. Again, that's not what I'm saying, okay? What happened, Simon? Was it not everything you've ever dreamed of? That's the problem with wanting someone you can't have for so long. You build this idea, the two of you in your head, and start confusing it with reality. And then, when you finally get them... You're saying that like it was planned. It wasn't. It just happened. <sighs> she fucked you and left you to dry, didn't she? Went back running to her fiancé, no doubt a rich white man, a mayor candidate, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know how you thought you stood a chance. The only person I want to be with is you. You've already fucked her, Simon. I think we're past you pretending she's just a friend. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not hurt, please. I feel... <laughs> validated, if anything. All these years, you really had me thinking I was this... <laughs> this crazy, obsessed girlfriend who's always cooking up scenarios in her head. But really... All it took was one night with the two of you alone, and you couldn't manage to keep it in your pants. In any case... Raven. Oh, could you be a doll and empty the carry-on bag you took with you yesterday? What are you doing? It's a lot more spacious than the rest of my bags, and I'm pretty sure I bought it for you anyway, so... Raven! What? What are you doing? I'm packing. Why? Because you fucked another woman, Simon. Keep up. No, I doubt I'll take everything with me in the first round. We can work through this. Nah, I think I'm good. Well, I'm not. I'm not ready for this to be over. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I don't think you're ready either. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, Simon. I've been waiting for this line to be drawn for years. And now that it has, I'm out of here. Even if you do find an apartment to rent right away, a month's rent around here is $800 minimum. That's besides bills, groceries. You're looking at 1.5 to 2 grand every month. 
You and I both know you don't have that kind of money laying around. Not with the way you spend it. Never mind that you'll be down a job. Where are you going to stay? You don't have family here, or anywhere, really. Fuck you. You have a lot of work friends, but none you're close enough to crash with. Of course, you can always crash at Noah's, well, Tressor's. Or you can just stay here, and we can work things out like we always do. This doesn't have to ruin us. Or you. I need some air. Why haven't you eaten yet? Did you talk to Benji? I left him a few texts. He hasn't responded. Probably sleeping things off. Now eat. <sighs> Everything's just been so chaotic. Eat. That might be Benji. The plate better be at least half empty by the time I come back. You hate to be vulnerable. Yeah, you've been hurt and it shows. I've never known one like you before. So much love that overflows. Hey. Hey, Noah. Thanks for coming. She won't talk to any of us. What happened to her? I'll leave it to her to tell you or not. Yeah, of course. Thank you for thinking of me, anyway. Everything okay? Yeah, but I have to go. All right. I love you. I love you more. Leave me alone, Noah! It, it's me. What are you doing here? Your brother called. God, he's such an idiot. He was worried. He's wasting your time. I don't want to talk, so... So please just get out. I don't want to talk, Isla. Then we won't talk. Am I a good person? What? 
Do you think that... that I'm a good person? I think you're the best person I know. Why do you ask? These past four months, they've changed me. And it's... it's really only gotten worse since December. It's been a tough few months, I know. But that's the thing, Ezra. You don't. If you did, you'd... What is it? Nothing. Forget it. Hey. I promise you, there's nothing you can tell me that would make me love you any less than I do right now. Especially after everything I've put you through. Really, Ezra, no, honestly, it's, it's nothing. I've just been really, I don't know, angry. Taking it out on everyone that doesn't deserve it. That's it. I just need this to be over. Yeah. I understand. <sighs> you have to go. I love you. I love you too. What happened? She seemed fine last night. I don't know. But you did the right thing by calling me. I'll take it from here. I'll be at Joe's if you two need anything. Raven? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know where else to go. No. It's okay. <laughs> Is this about rain? Or or what happened this morning with Chester? <laughs> no, and God no. Then what's wrong? <laughs> I wanna break up with Simon. What? That's amazing! <sighs> I was hoping you'd talk me out of it. Why the hell would I do that for? Because of your argument with Noah. <sighs> you were worried about what happens when <laughs> when Simon and I break up. <laughs> What that would mean to your relationship with Noah. That was months ago, Raven. Noah wouldn't do that to me now, and neither would you. I know that for a fact. And even if you would, I love Noah, really, with all my heart. But I take those odds if it means you'd finally get out of that house. <laughs> I'd rather my heart break once than to sit here and watch your heart get broken a thousand times by someone who doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it on my own. Who said anything about you being on your own? You know what I mean. No, I don't. Talk me through it. What is it you're worried about? I just... I've been depending on him for so long. I don't know where to start. You start by moving out. Then you'll figure things out as you go. That's how I ended up with him in the first place. I moved out of my parents' home with no plan and no real place to stay and it led me straight to him. Why would this time be any different? Because this time, you have me. And the boys. Both of whom would do anything for you. I don't know what your life looked like before, Simon, babe. But right now, today, 
You're surrounded by people who care about you, who are there for you every step of the way, and you are so much stronger. Now, you want to know what your life is going to look like after Simon? First, you'll get a job at Joe's. The diner downstairs? Yup. You've had like, what, three years of bartending? Practically running the place, really? Add that to the fact that the manager's been looking to hire for a while with no luck, and you'll be a shoo in Especially when you add in a good word from yours truly. The best part? It'll be a two-minute walk away from your new home. My new home? Here, obviously. Say. It'll be temporary, okay? Just until you find a good, affordable place to stay. In the meantime, you'll be living here cost-free and saving up enough money with the new job you're going to get. And you're, like, really gorgeous. So you'll be making a fortune with tips. That is, if you learn to control that eye roll of yours. That's the one. You know, you have a serious problem with taking people into your home. Yeah, I know. Shouldn't you consult your brother, considering how last time went? Nah, I don't think he'll mind this. <laughs> so, what do you say, Rumi? Ready to start over? You be a good girl and squeal bitch whenever she passes by, okay? It doesn't have to be this way. We can start over. The three of us as a family. We can't start over, Dad. There has to be something we can do. You know what you can do. You're asking me to pick between my two children. I'm not asking you to do anything. As far as I'm concerned, you already chose her. W would I be standing here asking you to reconsider if that was true? Bye, Dad. Will I be able to see you? Or... Not likely. I can help with money. Don't need it. Please, Ayana. Don't do this to us. No, you do not get to do that. You do not get to pin this on me. I'm leaving because you drove me away. Not because I want to. Don't, please. She ruined my life. She ruined my life. You let it happen every step of the way. You protected her then, and you're protecting her now. It's not- it's not true, I don't- but I don't want to hear it. I'll make myself crystal clear this time. The moment I walk out the door, you'll only have one daughter. You can consider me dead because you'll be dead to me. I hope she's worth it. That was a long walk. I, uh, cooked you some lunch. Well, it's practically dinner now, so... I'm leaving, Simon. Yeah, that's pretty cold now. Uh, I'll heat it up for you. Simon. I just got back from a job interview. What? Waitressing. I think I'm gonna get it. I also found a place to stay. It's a short walk to the job. Granted, not, like, right upstairs, but I think I'll adjust. You're really doing this? I really am. It was one night, Raven. It's not about the sex, Simon. It's about everything leading up to the sex. It's about leaving one toxic home only to end up in another. What are you talking about? Toxic? It's about the gaslighting and the emotional manipulation. It's about years of standing in front of men, begging them to choose me, only to have them... Not to. Well, I choose me. And this, what we have going on here, this isn't what I want for myself. I deserve better than to be someone's distraction. That's not what you are to me. It is. It's not. I love you. No, you don't. I do. You don't, Simon. And that's okay. You don't have to love me. But... I have to love myself. And I can't do that here with you. So, what does that mean for us? It means we go our separate ways. I'll start fresh. First with my new job, then hopefully find myself a permanent place to live. 
Maybe I'll date around here and there. But nothing serious. Not until I'm ready. And you. You'll finally realize just how hard running a bar actually is, now that I'm not going to be around to do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> I see you taking more photography jobs out of town. Maybe even out of the state. I don't know. Just stay away from this town. You've been trapped here for so long, I think you forget you can leave sometimes. And I hope, more than anything, that you find it in yourself to move on from your feelings for Tresser. Because they really bring out the worst in you, Simon. I'm sorry. I really am. I know. Just do better. It's getting late, so I'll pass by tomorrow to pick up my stuff. All right. Bye, Simon. Mm-hmm.